and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a, a recipe that could be served for breakfast or lunch if you like. I actually gonna have it for lunch. It's called shakshuka. It's as, a, as far as I know, it's a Middle Eastern dish. It comes from Israel, I believe. If any other countries owns it, I'm sorry. I just know it comes from Israel. It's a, a sauce-based um, dish, a tomato sauce in, in fact, and then you just put some eggs in it. And it's pretty nice, low calorie, high protein. Maybe I would say for my taste, it's in the, in the middle there with protein, but nonetheless, it's great. So let's go over the ingredients first and let's start cooking our lunch today or breakfast depending on what you like. So we are going to need eggs. I like at least two per serving. One medium red bell pepper, half of a large onion or medium onion, and three cloves of garlic. And garlic is of, of course optional. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it. And I have here canned tomatoes. I like these in particular because they're extremely nice, dense and sweet. And here is a very important tip. The quality of tomatoes is important here and will make or break the outcome of the dish. I recommend you use San Marzano styled canned tomatoes. They are meaty, sweet. You will get very good sauce out of it. Make sure you check a list of uh, the ingredients below in the video or visit my website at myfavefword.com for printable recipe. And here I have uh, a little bit of a spice. This is a uh, harissa mix. But if you don't have uh, something like that, you just use sweet paprika and cayenne pepper or any kind of spicy pepper that you have on hand. It will do as well. Now, we're gonna start with dicing the onion and red pepper into small pieces and in the meantime uh, in the meantime I started preheating the pan and to this heated pan I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of either avocado or olive oil I'm using avocado oil right here I'm gonna I add the diced veggies the onion and peppers and I'll season it slightly with salt and pepper and let it get soft this is actually a very crucial step. I can't stress this enough. Making sure onions and peppers become translucent will add tons of sweetness to the dish and it will make a huge difference. So th th it's actually a difference between taking the time and cooking onions and peppers enough to, uh, for them to become soft and sweet and just rushing the process and adding tomatoes too soon. It's, trust me, it's a huge huge difference in taste and sometimes if you um, have another recipe and you just wonder why it doesn't have that much flavor as you thought it would those little details is it's actually those are the, the ones that make that difference so make sure you take the time and make sure the the vegetables are very soft because they become extremely sweet and it will add tons of flavor so they've been sauteing for a few minutes now probably five ten minutes as you can see, they're already becoming nice and soft and changing color lightly. And half through that process, I'm going to add a, a half a tablespoon of a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to add uh, minced garlic. And I'm going to cook it uh, for another 10, maybe 15 minutes, just Make sure that uh, the veggies are just nice and soft and sweet. Uh, so now when the veggies are done, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. Now, I like to add it slowly. So I'm doing the watery uh, part first. And I'm doing it because I wanna start deglazing the pan from all the uh, little bits and pieces that stick to the pan. It's actually adding additional layer of flavor. All that brown goodness from the bottom of the pan will start incorporating into the sauce. You can see here how clean the bottom of the pan is right now, how it's basically all these little brown pieces are lifting off and that's tons and tons of flavor. So after the liquid evaporates, 
I'm going to add the rest of the tomatoes. I like to squeeze them uh, with my hands, but if you don't like to get your hands dirty, just cut them up on a cutting board. Mm, well, I guess that will also get your hands dirty. And time to add Harvisa spices right now. Additional salt and pepper to taste. And I'm going to cook uh, the sauce until it thickens. That will take additional 20 minutes on low to medium heat. Um, you want it to slightly bubble. Cook it uncovered. And after 20 minutes or so, I checked for flavor and I decided I would like to add a, bit more, a little bit more spices. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that harissa mix. I like everything a little bit on the spicy side. And when a sauce thickens enough, I'm gonna add eggs. Uh, just uh, on top of the sauce, but I'm trying to create little packets so there's enough space for the egg white to uh, penetrate the sauce. Uh, so the eggs pretty much uh, fit snugly into that mix. Salt and pepper to taste and a little bit of sweet paprika for extra flavor. Can't get enough of that. Also, if you like it even spicier, you can also sprinkle some cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes. And right now, cover it up and lower the heat to minimum. You don't want it to boil, you don't want it to have too high heat. I want the eggs to barely cook. I just want them to slowly set. I like the egg yolks to be very runny and egg whites just barely set, but still soft. It takes about five minutes. If you like eggs completely cooked, Add more time to keep and keep checking. And if the eggs are jiggly, chances are they are not set yet. And I am ready to serve. Such an amazing dish, I can't wait to dig in. Rich in protein and nutrients, low calories and delicious. You can literally be on a diet and still have this every single day. How awesome is that? I'm going to serve it with a warm pita bread, hummus, and now uh, sprinkle it with some feta cheese. Shakshuka can be served just by itself if you prefer. What would you like to serve it with? Leave a comment below. And I will see you on the next video. I hope you enjoy.